Hey guys, Snoopston here, and today I'm going to be talking about the Vanu Sovereignty's Max Unit, my playstyle guide, my cert guide, and my thoughts on whether or not I think it's overpowered or imbalanced. So let's jump on in there. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is you're starting out, you're, you want to be a VS Max driver. You've heard how good it is, you want to start crushing fools. So the first thing I can say is, you start with the Quasar VM1 and the Comet, I believe. Quasar left hand, Comet right hand. First thing I would say is, dump 250 certs into a Cosmos for the right hand. And then you'll have two fairly competent anti-infantry weapons. I actually araxiumed the Cosmoses before I bought Blue Shifts, but we'll go into that a bit later on. So first thing, on my passive systems, I run the Acquire Timer Reduction down to two, up to the 200 cert mark. Uh, with the way resources are in this game right now, it's 350 infantry resources to pull a max. I don't personally think it's worth going any higher than that. Maxes are very supportable by medics and engineers, and it's just not viable for you to be pulling them any faster than that. In the ability slot, we get to the real meat of the build. And this is uh, one of my favourite abilities in the game. It's the Zealot Overdrive engine, which improves your m movement speed, strafe speed, and uh, the the overall damage that your weapons do, thus decreasing your time to kill. The Zealot Overdrive is a very controversial ability. The community discusses it frequently and there's a lot of rage surrounding it. We'll go into that in more detail uh, in the section where I talk about whether or not I think it's overpowered or imbalanced. In the suit slot, I have full kinetic and full nano auto repair. Again, I'll explain these in the playstyle section of the video. I just want to show you what I personally have set it up and what I run on the Max. I've been very successful in the VS Max. I average 410 XP per minute and I have a kill to death of 4.2. This is just an old character, so it's not something I play a lot. It's something I enjoy. Probably one of my favourite playstyles in the game. And yeah, max. Fun. Kill everything you see. So, once I finished Araxiuming the... I hope I said that right. The Cosmoses, I moved on to the Blue Shifts. The differences between the two are that the Cosmos has a wider cone of fire. Thus making it worse at anything from medium to long range engagements. The blue shift on the other hand has a much tighter cone of fire, making it good for medium to long range, provided you burst fire the weapon. If you play TR, think Mercies. The Mercies for the Max are the equivalent of the blue shifts and vice versa. In terms of anti-vehicle, this is a for me personally it's very much a preference thing. I actually prefer the Comets. I feel that they synergize better with Zoe than the Vortex VM21s, which are the... They look like two pistols in the Max's hands, but they are essentially like a Lancer in each hand. Comets allow you to be a bit more aggressive. I find the Vortexes have a longer time to kill and leave you more vulnerable. We'll go more into that in the playstyle section of the video. And obviously, run your Bursters. Bursters and Zoe equals dead ESFs. There isn't much more to say than that. So, in terms of the playstyle for the Max, what I tend to do is I will use it here with hit and run tactics. You, Because of the way Zealot Overdrive Engine works, uh, because of the increased damage you take from small arms fire and rockets and such. You're not tanky like the other Maxes. You are fast, nimble, and your, your playstyle, in my mind, the playstyle is to hit the enemy as hard and as fast as you can and get out and come back. And that's why I choose 
between kinetic and nano auto repair. Now, if you're going to be playing solo with an outfit, then nano auto repair is the way to go, purely based on the fact that you can't always rely on an engineer, even though they should be doing that job. A lot of them won't. So, how my personal playstyle is, I will, for example, a closed off base like TI alloys where there can be some heavy infantry fights. I will arrive, get my max out with kinetic armor and my blue shifts, and I will go around and kill as many guys as I can, and then I will run to the spawn room when I reach about a quarter of my health left. And then I'll go to the terminal, I'll re-equip auto repair if there's no engineer on site, I'll repair up and I'll go back to kinetic and just keep going like that. I've had three to four hour battles doing this, just killing people left, right and centre. And it's a good tactic to use. If you play to the max's strengths, you'll be rewarded for it. In terms of playstyle for anti-vehicle, it's just the same sort of thing. But instead, I just run auto repair all the time when I'm running anti-vehicle setup. Just because I tend to be further away from spawn rooms than I would be if I was engaged in infantry fights. So... I will run the comets for tanks or slow moving vehicles like Sunderers tanks uh, and yeah just Sunderers and tanks and lightnings and I will run the vortexes to hit harassers or liberators or things along those lines although I think personally I think the vortexes are under par when compared to the other factions 1000 cert anti-vehicle options that kind of covers my playstyle. I play very hit and run, very uh, very shock and awe, and that's really that's really how I play with Zoe Max. Now, I want to talk a little bit about balance because it's a it's a hot subject in the community. It has been for a long time, even after they nerfed Zoe slightly. But before I do, I would like to clarify my personal definitions of the terms overpowered and imbalanced. Now to me overpowered is something in the game that can be played by anyone and that allows them to dominate without much skill or thought required. Imbalanced, the personal definition of the term imbalanced for me is something that is hard to counter because no let me rephrase that because I don't want people. I want to get this perfectly clear, and I don't want people to rage about it. Imbalance to me means something that is very, very strong in the hands of a skilled player to the point where it's very, very difficult to counter it. But it's not the thing, the game breaker. It's not going to turn you know your average Joe Blogs into a super god with like. 400 XP per minute and all that crazy ass crap. So, do I think Zoe's overpowered? I don't think it's overpowered. I think Zoe is imbalanced. I think that it's vulnerable to small arms fire, very vulnerable to small arms fire, even with kinetic equipped. And I think that there are ways to counter it. But I do think it's imbalanced, just purely based on the fact that. The other two Max's abilities, the NC Max has a shield which allows it to retreat and the TR Max has a lockdown ability which allows it to die. So basically those abilities are very very situational. Zoe isn't. Zoe is, you turn it on, you rape and kill stuff if you're good, if you're not you turn it on and you die to a rocket to the face. But the, the, the real point is, is that there should be more of a penalty to using it than there currently is. I think one way to work it, and I'm not a game designer or anything like that, so don't, you know, I'm just venting my opinions. But one of my opinions is that the ability could maybe have some form of cooldown. So it would make it more situational, which is what the max abilities, as far as I'm aware, are supposed to be. So, for example, you could, it could be like, um, 
if you've ever played any form of MMO or MOBA, then you'll be familiar with the term steroid or cooldowns or whatever. So Zoe could effectively be uh, Vanu Max's steroid. Like uh, currently, it is a steroid that is always on. But if I ha if I were to design it in my way, I would design it so that it's uh, situational. So when you need that extra DPS to run into a room and clear a room that absolutely must be cleared like a biolab cap or something like that or saving the SCU you know something along those lines then you could pop Zoe run in there fight for as long as you've got your DPS and then get the hell out I mean that would that makes more sense to me personally right now Zoe is the only option in that slot for the Vanu Max and there is no situational to it is something that you have on all the time and you use it to annihilate people so those are my thoughts on the Zoe being OP or imbalanced and that's been my uh, guide slash playstyle guide slash thoughts on the Zoe Max if you found this video entertaining informative or helpful in any way then please feel free to like comment or subscribe to my channel if you felt that I could do things in a different way, then give it a thumbs down and let me know why. Snoopston from Ceres EU signing off.